Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to host a free website with a free domain name on infinityfree.net. Now, there are definitely some limitations here. It might sound too good to be true, but it, you actually do uh, have the ability to host a free website here, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial. Uh, I am at infinityfree.net, and as you can see, it says free unlimited web hosting. Now, how the heck is that possible? Uh, well, I don't know for sure, but I think it's a combination of advertisements. As you can see, there's one advertisement here, and there's another one right here. Um, and then they do have premium hosting, and uh, they try to upsell you to actually pay for things. So um, whether that's domain names or, uh, I did mention you get a free domain name, it's a subdomain name. You'll see what I mean in a second, but if you wanted to buy an actual domain name, they have those for purchase. They actually have uh, premium hosting as well like I said. So there are other sources of monetization for them, but um, it is very, uh, let's say, possible to get a free website with infinityfree.net, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's go back to the homepage here uh, and sign up for an account. So click on sign up now, and I'm going to type in my email address here, tonyteachestech at gmail.com. We'll pick a password. Make sure I type it in and remember it, repeat it. And I've read and agreed to the terms of service and I am not a robot. Oh boy, one of these, so stairs, 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 verify, we're good to go. So let's create our account. And uh, they sent an email verification link. So let's open that up. Uh, we got that, very good. Let's verify the email address and log into the account. So. Tony teaches tech and then the password. All right, we're good to go. So um, we'll get out of here. Uh, we agree to the privacy. Now, here is the, let's call this the dashboard for your free hosting. Um, you can have up to three separate accounts within this dashboard. So let's create an account. Uh, and the account is just corresponding to a website. So like I said, you get a free domain name with your website. So it's it's actually a subdomain, so it's gonna be something dot, could be epizy.com, could be dot great-site.net, could be dot infinityfreeapp.com. The one that I like is lovestoblog.com. So let's see if they have Tony lovestoblog.com. And they do, so tony.lovestoblog.com is available. Um, this is asking us for what we want to call our website. Website for tony.lovestoblog.com is fine with me. Uh, the username will automatically be generated and then the password for the account, I'll go ahead and type that in, verify that I am not a robot, and then create the account. Okay, so this is my username. I know my password and we have two options here to uh, view it in the client area or open the control panel. I think there is a link to the control panel in the client area, so let's go here first. And yeah, so here is the, basically, if you're lost at this point, if you go to Infinity Free, the homepage, uh, you'll see now that we have one account created. Um, here we can click on Manage and go back to that same exact page that we are in. So this is, um, uh, an overview of all the details for this website. At this point, there is actually no website yet. We're gonna install a WordPress, uh, we're gonna install WordPress at this domain name, tony.lovestheblog.com. Um, so in order to do that, we have to go into the control panel here. And that's gonna take us to, uh, do, do, that, so I remember this, I went through these processes before, and this is extremely, in my opinion, something very spammy looking. Um, this looks like a pop-up of some sort, but this is actually uh, coming from infinityfree.net. So um, this basically says, to notify you changes the service, blah, blah, blah. Can we email you? And you can either say, I approve to allow them to email you, or if they're, they're basically, I don't know, quote unquote, threatening you, if you don't get those emails, uh, you might lose your account. So whatever. I'm just going to click on I approve here. Um, and now it's going to actually take us to the panel. And I think that's only a once and done thing. You shouldn't see that the second time that you come in here. Some of you might recognize this layout here. Um, this is C panel with advertisements, as you can see. Um, and this allows us to do 
different things with our website. Uh, you can see there's some database access here, file access here. We can work with our domain name, some email setup. Um, and, and we're gonna look through a couple of these things, but like I said, the first thing that I wanna do is install WordPress at our domain name. So if we go to the Softaculous apps installer down here, that's where we can do that. So this will open up a new tab here. And we this doesn't have to be a WordPress website. You can choose any one of these applications to install on your, uh, your hosting package here. There's so many different options here, uh, but just to keep things simple, let's install a basic WordPress website. So we'll click on that and click on install now. This is WordPress version 5.7. You can pick a different version. I recommend the latest. Um, and it's already detected because the cPanel is associated with our domain name. It already knows that we want it to be tony.lovesablog.com. And I will call it, let's call it Tony loves, loves to blog. And the, the description of our website will be Tony's lovely blog. Okay. Uh, admin username, we'll say Tony, the password, I'll type that in, and then the admin email, I'll keep that the same. Um, if you want to, you can install some of these, you know, default plugins. Uh, I think I'll just do that classic editor. And then finally down here, let's install WordPress at that domain name. Uh, like it says, three to four minutes usually takes 20 seconds tops. Um, if it takes any longer than that, we'll have to, to pause the video and catch up with you when it finishes. but it, it looks like it's done. Now, the one thing that I actually did notice when doing this before is that it's not immediately, um, ready to go. So like, for example, if we click on this, it'll link us out to tony.lovesablog.com, but we might get like a 404 page. I did see that in the past, but lucky for us, we actually have a website that's associated with our domain, as you can see up here, tonylovesablog.com, um, and we're running the WordPress 2021 theme. Let's access back here. Um, you can either click on this, if you're not familiar with WordPress, tony.lovesablog.com uh, slash wp-admin, or you can just tack that on to the end of your domain name. This is how you're gonna access your WordPress admin dashboard. And at this point, we're now, we, we moved outside of cPanel and Softaculous and Infinity Free, and now we're actually working directly with WordPress, our WordPress website that's hosted on Infinity Free. So um, let me log in here with the credentials that I just provided. So we'll log in. And this is our WordPress admin dashboard. Now, I don't want this to be a WordPress tutorial. Let me just give you a quick overview of what you can do with WordPress. So you can write blog posts over here. Um, if you click on the left-hand side here, click on posts, uh, you can do all posts, add new categories, tags. Um, it's a little bit slow, as you can see, uh, it's still loading here. That is some that, that is one drawback to uh, a free hosting package like this. The, the fact that you're not guaranteed any sort of speed, your resources are probably being shared with other websites. So if, if another website is um, doing a very intensive thing or there's a lot of people visiting somebody else's website, that makes your website suffer. Um, so that page is finally loaded. We can add a, a new blog post here. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, just, hey, this is my first blog post. Thanks for reading it. Yeah, okay, uh, we'll, add a, we'll add a featured image to that just to show you how to do that. So we'll upload something to our media library here. Uh, we'll pick this image. It shouldn't take too long to upload. Um, and this will, be, this will be the picture that's associated with this blog post. So we'll set that featured image uh, that has at, been added and let's publish, let's publish our first blog post here and take a look at what that looks like. So this is the permalink to that blog post and that's what it looks like. Hey, this is my first blog post, that's the title. Here's our featured image and I didn't write a lot but that is the content of my first blog post. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't wanna spend too much time in here. Let me just point out a couple other things. So we'll go back into the dashboard you can also create pages. Examples of pages would be like your about page, your contact page, um, uh, other things like that. If you have a store, store pages, um, you can manage comments on your uh, blog posts here. Uh, if you wanna change the theme, you can go to appearance themes and pick a different theme. So these are the themes that are installed, but you can add new themes. There's 
thousands of themes that you can choose from. Um, so you can pick one of these. Uh, we're going to wing it here. We'll install SKT meditation theme. Let's say this is uh, a meditation website that we're making now and activate that. And what that's going to do is not it's not going to change the the content of your website, but it'll change the the look and feel of it. So this looks completely different than the previous website that we had. Um, one other thing is plugins. So if you want to add functionality to your website, there are similarly thousands of different plugins that you can install on your, your website to allow it to do different things. So uh, if we wanted to add a contact form to our website, which allows users to uh, type in their name, their email, and a message to you and send that message directly to your email inbox, something that I recommend for that is contact form seven. So you can install that and activate it and then go through the process of setting that up. We won't actually do that, um, but I just wanna make you aware of it. There's other videos on my channel that'll teach you how to do that. Um, so yeah, that, that's a basic overview of WordPress uh, itself. Um, I wanna show you how to get a an SSL certificate, which will give, us, give our website um, secure, uh, so basically, most websites nowadays have start out with HTTPS, which is an encrypted secure version of your website, whereas HTTP, everything is sent over the internet in plain text, which allows hackers and bad people to take that information and potentially intercept it and do bad things with it. So what's good to do is to install a an SSL certificate and I'll admit that it was very, um, we're just gonna close out of some of these. It was very confusing to me uh, based on the instructions that Infinity Free gave me to install an SSL certificate, which is free by the way. Um, so I figured I'll include it in this video uh, just because it was a little complicated. So um, over here on your account dashboard for your hosting with Infinity Free, if we go to the free SSL certificate section, let's add an SSL domain. And uh, here you have to just explicitly type it Tony dot loves to blog.com and we'll use let's encrypt as our SSL provider. So we'll add that SSL. Uh, please enter your own custom domain here, Tony. Oh, right, right. Okay. So the domain type is subdomain. Uh, that's why that looked a little bit different. So um, our subdomain is loves to blog. We still have to type in Tony. And then the SSL provider is go get at this point. We don't want uh, self-signed. So we'll add that SSL domain. And it says your domain has been added. You can now create an order. So this is where it gets a little bit complicated and I have to remember how to specifically do that. So um, uh, this is where, bear with me. Okay, so install the SSL certificate. I think we have to request the SSL certificate next. So we added the domain. We have to request the SSL certificate from GoGet. Very good. So um, we got inf this information here on the, this is so complicated uh, for, for first time people doing this type of thing, but I'll do my best to explain it. So we basically have to go back into our cPanel from earlier add these add this record to our uh, cPanel and then that's going to allow the I think it was called GoGet to verify that we actually own that domain name and then GoGet will issue us an SSL certificate so um, let's copy let me open up a new tab here bear with me let's go to our account for Tony.loves the blog let's go back into the control panel and let's go down to do uh, where is it DNS? I'm getting advertisements for pipes. Check. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. DNS. C name records. Okay, so under the advanced section, click on C name records. Uh, there's an advertisement. How do I get out of it? Oh boy. Okay. Um, so we want to add the CNAME record with the information that they gave us. So the source for that is this guy, the record name. The domain is tony.lovestheblog.com. And then the value is this. Okay. And then we put that in as the destination. So let's add that CNAME record and it accepted it. So here's what our CNAME record looks like. 
uh, that's that's all we have to do as far as the CNAME record is concerned. What we're going to have to do once that is issued to us is come over to the SSL section, and I can't find it right off the bat. Um, we're going to basically uh, add the SSL certificate here. So configure SSL for tony.lovestheblog.com. Uh, we'll get a private key and we'll get a certificate and we'll paste those in. So let's see. There, let's get out of this. There was a bit of a gap in the timing uh, between the time that you added the CNAME records and when we actually get those certificates. So let's see. Uh, we got the private key, so we can add that a while. Um, so we'll upload that. And then we just need to wait for the certificate to come through, which... I think they'll actually email you when that's ready. Um, let's go to my email address here. So that's just from earlier. We might have to pause the video. I'll pause here and when I get the verification email that the, the certificate has been issued, then I'll show you how to finish up the process of installing the HTTPS uh, SSL certificate. So let's pause here. I'll catch up with you when we get that. All right, guys, and not too much longer, probably like 10 minutes or so, I got the email that this SSL certificate uh, has been issued. Um, you can either click the link here or I'm already on the page with the SSL certificates right here. So um, I already will refresh it, but uh, you can see now we have the value for the certificate. So let's copy that, go back into our C panel, come down to the certificate section, paste it in, click on upload, and You'll see that CSR certificate signing request is empty. Um, that is okay. It would, I mean, it would help if we had that, but I don't think they expose the CSR throughout this process. So um, with that, we should be good to go. Um, I did also notice that sometimes there is a delay between the time that uh, you install the certificate and it actually starts working. But let's see, let's see what kind of luck we have today. So let's go to Tony. Loves 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 to blog.com hit enter and if we did everything correctly we should see it redirect to the ssl version of the website uh, or i should say the https version and it did not let's try to explicitly go to that so if we go to https colon slash slash tony.lovesablog.com will that work for us no this could be a caching issue so let's let's copy this um, open up a guest window. Let's close out of here, actually. Open up a new guest window. Type in HTTPS, tony.lovesablog.com. Let's see if we get our SSL certificate yet. Not yet. Uh, I'll pause again. Hopefully, within five or so minutes, this will be working. We'll check it out. Okay. Uh, if you saw that, I just uh, pasted in the HTTPS version of the website, and we do get the lock icon here. We can check that the connection is secure by looking at this and looking at our SSL certificate, which, uh, as I said earlier, this was from Go Get SSL, and we can look at the details of that. Um, everything looks good. So we have our SSL certificate installed. That gives us an HTTPS version of our website. We have our domain name, tony.lovestheblog.com, and we have installed WordPress, and I give you a good overview quick overview of WordPress, all the different things that you can do with that. Um, so you have a free, fully free, no, no credit cards, nothing like that, no payments or anything, uh, website that you can share with the public. So um, guys, if you got any value out of this, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.